Hello again, this is Jake with Griffin Open Systems, here to introduce you briefly to the cooling tower optimization application available on the um, sandbox environment. Um, one of the main concepts that this application demonstrates is the ability to read data um, through data links. Um, in this case, we're reading um, data collected um, previously out of a CSV file that's loaded onto the system and reading it into a control application to simulate real-time performance and behavior. Um, so first we need to log in to um, the sandbox environment and so if you have already submitted or requested logon credentials, um, we'll open up the remote desktop connection on your machine. You will input the server ID. Um, one thing that's important to note is you may need to come in and change your username a um, couple of ways that this may happen. Let me back this out real quick. So if I click connect here, um, you if you have Windows 10, this is what will pop up. Um, it may put in some different username up here. Um, you'll want to come down here to more choices, use a different account, then put in the username provided in the email. Um, and then additionally, the um, password that you were provided with. Once you've got that all input, you'll connect. Um, to the remote desktop um, and this is how that appears um, one thing to point out here is the readme file it gives you a little bit of background on the available applications um, we're going to talk about as I mentioned the cooling tower optimization um, so again also as mentioned what's going on here is we're reading data out of a CSV file and using it in our cooling tower optimization application if I open up Griffin, let's first open up Data Links, you'll see this SIM CT. Um, if I double click it, it, it is pointing at this file um, in the Griffin folder within the C drive, data files, this simulation data. Um, you can see that if I go to the C drive, Griffin, data files, and right there's the that same data file. Um, this is good to know if you want to experiment with loading your own data sets in and reading that into a Griffin application. Um, this is essentially the way that you can go about creating that. Um, so if I've got that all here, I just want to start this. Um, I have it highlighted, click the play button. It'll tell me it's starting and then when it begins, it shows running. I can then click the view link tags and see it in real time cycling through each row in that data set or in that file. Um, so that's live, that's working now. If I go ahead and open applications, highlight the CT Opt Sim application and press play. Um, same thing you'll see starting. Um, it'll take it a moment to initiate itself and then it shows running. If I click the application tables and charts, I'll get a display of the available tuning screens or monitoring screens. Um, what's going on here? We see our ability to control 12 different fans on this cooling tower. Um, right now the demand is 77 percent this is all data that's being read in from this data link and see how it's all cycling in real time and making decisions um, up here we have some statistics of what's going on with base control and then optimized control um, a couple other things I can change here is if I want to change the effective cost of power I just double click here and let's make it a little more expensive Make it 18 cents um, per kilowatt hour. I click update and immediately um, the application will start to use that value. Um, you see that the power cost over here for the DCS and for Griffin both spiked up when I loaded that in. Um, I can change how long it waits to make an optimization um, change. Um, and then we see some live statistics of how much it says we're saving yearly and projected. What's the 24 hour cost of power, DCS control, Griffin control, then also um, what the condenser inlet temperature is, which is an important operational metric um, or condition, really. Um, so if I want to actually look at the application itself, if I click back into applications, I can either double click here or highlight the application I'm interested in and click the open folder um, button and you see the live um, data being read in here and then the calculations being made um, there's multiple tabs up here and up here all the little building blocks that you can use to create your own 
um, decisions and logic streams. If I just click here to CT opt, this is where optimization is actually occurring. Um, see, I have a couple of checks. Um, if I right click properties, I see the, the checks that are being made to see if any of the fans are in Griffin control or optimizable. Um, I have a few things like that. You see the live logic being carried out. Um, it's counting up and it's going to optimize here in just a moment. Um, it happened so fast we didn't actually see the, the path change, but we did see these values move. Um, so here's where you go ahead and you can play around with changing the control logic. You can change what points are being read in or out or, or how some of the limits are being set. Um, you can also adjust limits here. If I only want to allow this fan to go down 2% off of the DCS's set point, I just double click that, change it, press update, and that'll be incorporated. You'll see the low delta is now minus 2. The minimum value you can take on is 2 below the DCS's value there. Um, and, and everything continues to cycle. One of the powerful features of the, the AI Toolkit is this rapid ability to incorporate changes. Um, so that's a real brief introduction to how the Coolant Tower optimization application works and, and how to initiate it, how to start that data link up and get that live connection going. Um, we see these metrics that are being calculated here uh, and you can add any um, additional plots or metrics you'd like to um, monitor. Um, or again, you can pull in your own data set and create similar um, applications. Um, this is a sandbox. Go ahead and play around and, and see what you're able to create. I hope this has been informative. And if, as always, if there are any questions, there's some contact information. Um, this sells um, at griffinopensystems.com email address or another one that you can use is info at griffinopensystems.com. Um, let us know if you have any questions. Thank you for your time.